Over to Baldwin for the Doc Van Diver Basketball Classic. Tupelo facing Saltillo. Well, this was a good one. Early on, Taj Crump baseline drive. That's a nice two pointer right there. Golden Wave lead early. Later on for the Tigers, though, Saltillo not going away. Grown man drive from Calvin Harris. So we take it up against the bigger defender there, Calvin. But back comes Tupelo. First quarter, Taj Crump making things happen. Collects a loose ball there. Nice dish. Nice catch. Here from Chris Gilliam for the corner triple. That's good. Fourth quarter we go. It gets good. Two blow down by three under a minute left. Chris Gilliam gets the ball. That one's for three. Drainer ties the ball game, and that would send us to overtime. To extra basketball we go. Saltillo down by one. TJ Hanna drives inside off the glass for two. Tigers retake the one point lead. Two blow trying to win it. Down one. Taj Crump to Chris Gilliam. Look at that. Just sits on the rim. Tupelo can't finish on the offensive glass. Saltillo knocks it away and gets a huge win. 61-60 over the Golden Wave. Amory taking on an undefeated Ingemar team. These Falcons can ball, folks. Early on, Jay Pickens. He's going to drive. That's a two-hand finish right there for the man. Falcons lead early on. Later on, it's Kelton Hall. This man can ball. He's going to lose the ball here. Look at the turnaround jumper. That's pretty basketball there. Ingemar leading, but Amory trying to answer off the inbounds play. Arian Stringfield misses a shot, but Isaiah Thompson, the big man, is there to collect the rebound and the putback score. It's a four point lead for Ingemar. More from the Panthers. TJ Wallace, nice hop step inside. It's a nice drive and finish, but Ingemar stays perfect, defeating Amory 56 to 44. And to primetime, Baldwin girls, the home team, taking on Ponatok. Early on for the Lady Grape. Sky Vaughn gets the ball inside. Nice drive and two. So Lady Warriors, they lead early on. But here more from Pontotoc. Mary Kate Butler, the hand in her face doesn't matter. That swisher extends the Pontotoc lead. Baldwin trying to answer. Down here, Amari Anderson driving, finds Paige Huddleston inside for the nice finish. Lady Bearcats back within six. More from Baldwin. Iana Reagan gets the ball. She drains the triple. Back and forth we go. Ponatox sneaks past the home team. Baldwin Lady Bearcats 51-48. And to the final game of the evening. Baldwin boys taking on Ponatox. The Warriors looking to sweep the home team. Early on for Ponatox. Cortland Armstrong pull up jumper. That's a sweet Jimmy there. Warriors up to zip. Later on for Ponatox. John Fleming inside. Doesn't matter if there's a contest. He puts one off the glass for two. Baldwin trying to answer. Down here, Shamar Agnew gets the ball, finds Riley Horde. Riley scores. Bearcats cut into that Warrior lead, but it'd be all Ponatok in this one. They would answer off a fast break. Miles Galloway with the finish. Them grapes dominate Baldwin at home. 60 to 38. How about that?